I'm Va Hua, Anthony Vu. Uh, I'm a Hmong Australian visual artist. Um, I'm based in Brisbane, but I, I grew up in Cairns. Uh, I still consider Cairns very much home. The sculptures I've made for this exhibition are built on top of hard hats. So I'm using these hard hats as a reference to you know, a lot of my peers, a lot of my cousins, my friends um, around the same age as me, they are tradies. So these three people I know that these sculptures are based on have all grown up in Australia, they have all have different experiences and I try to incorporate these into the sculptures, whether that's the, the actual structure itself or the materials I'm using. Um, a lot of it is DIY based materials, found objects, trash and recycled materials. This is based on my experiences growing up, particularly with my dad and his approach to life and also just you know, making the most of what we have. For the sculpture titled The Pez, he's actually my brother-in-law. He's a painter by trade. So with the sculptures, you'll see rollers attached to the hard hat, a lot of paint brushes. There's also a lot of domestic items, specifically cooking. He's a painter, but his aspirations in the past were to be a chef. For me, it's, it's about recognising the different kinds of uh, work that we are doing compared to uh, what my parents, previous gen generations were doing in the past. Um, being here in Australia now, we are diversifying our, our, our jobs and contributing to society as much as we can, as much as um, um, each person is capable of. With the mural, I've been doing tape-based installations uh, for a couple of years now. I started off doing these on windows. These were based on my experiences growing up in far north Queensland, especially with the tropical weather. What a lot of people would do was tape up the windows. Um, usually these are just in the big excess across the windows, uh, masking tape or cello tape. Whereas for me, you know, growing up seeing that with nothing to do during those uh, blackouts, you know, without any electricity or much else to do, no school as well, you know, I would, you know, take that uh, a bit further, be a bit more creative with those um, tapings on the windows. I would do patterns, I would do little figures, um, and then, you know, reflecting on that experience a bit older, you know, that was really important to me, um, trying to protect home. Yeah, so I'm, I'm part of the Hmong people. Uh, we are indigenous to China. Um, there's a, the large majority of us are still in southern China. There's a large group in Vietnam, Laos, Thailand, you know, Southeast Asia. Those countries hold a large population of Hmong people. Uh, but due to recent history, you know, recent conflicts in Southeast Asia, um, Laos and Vietnam specifically, the Hmong have you know, migrated elsewhere across the world, so it is a global diaspora now. Uh, my parents, they came from Laos specifically and then spent some time in Thailand before coming to Australia as refugees. This mural is going to be on the walls at Quag. For me, it's still about protecting structures, protecting places and spaces that I'm a part of. Reflecting back on Hmong history, uh, my parents' history as well, there's so much, I guess, so much um, emphasis on what home is and trying to find a permanent place to protect, trying to find a permanent place to to call home.